everybody, this is Juliana from itsybitsyroses.com. Today I have a fun tutorial to share with you guys. Um, as many of you know, I love to collect mason jars. I have a lot of mason jars and I actually have them all around my house full of flowers and home decor. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I do to my mason jars. I really, really love the blue tinted mason jars. And anytime I see them at the store, I want to buy them. And I have several of them, some, some which I have created and made some tutorials. So I will put those videos below if you guys are interested. But I found an easy and affordable way to create my own tinted uh, mason jars so I have here a little one that I put together for you guys and as you can see it has this beautiful vintage color in there that I absolutely uh, love I love to see the light reflecting into the water and it's just super nice and not to mention this is super shabby chic. So I want to share with you guys a tutorial. It's very, very simple and very quick on how I create this. So stay tuned and I'll share with you guys the tutorial. So what you're going to need are a couple of mason jars. I have purchased these at TG Maxx a while back. But you can use any type of mason jar you have. You're also going to need some food coloring. I got the McCormick um, food coloring and you'll need blue and then a straw and then some paper towels or something to mix it with. You're also going to need some water. I have water in this pitcher and of course you're going to need your lovely flowers or roses or peonies whatever it is that you're going to put into the mason jar. These beautiful roses I purchased at Trader Joe's and I absolutely love the colors of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this mason jar almost all the way to the top. And this is why it's nice to have some paper in the, in the bottom because it can get messy sometimes. And then I'm going to add one drop of the blue food coloring. And the food coloring won't damage the flowers um, since, you know, it's for cooking and everything. It's going to be okay on the flowers. So don't worry about um, having to ruin the flowers. And then once you drop it in there, um, you're going to stir it very well. And it's going to create this very nice light blue color, almost like those blue mason jars that you can purchase. So again, this is a temporary type of, you know, blue mason jar, just for the water of the flowers. And then I'm going to do the same to the other two because I'm going to create three of them. You can also use any other color or food coloring if you like. I just chose light blue because I think it's so shabby chic and it goes really well with pink flowers. So on these three mason jars, I'm going to add four roses to each. And what I'm going to do is kind of measure the rows into the mason jar to see what length I want to cut them and I'm going to remove some of the leaves from the roses because I don't need all that greenery in there I'm just going to leave a few so it kind of looks natural but I'm not going to have too many leaves
So again, it's up to you what length you want to cut the roses. I'm going to take off at least about 4 inches on this rose just because they're kind of long and my mason jar is small. If you have a bigger mason jar, then you won't have to cut them too much. So I'm just going to use my scissors and cut them in an angle from the bottom. And then I'm going to gather them together and put them into the mason jar. I absolutely love this. The, the light and the sunshine goes through the glass really nicely and it just looks so fresh. These are perfect for weddings, any party decor, home decor, and I just absolutely love them. This is what they all look like. This one in the middle has five roses since I had one left. And doesn't that look just lovely on water? And I use these around my house. I like to put one by my, op my office on my desk. I really love looking at them. And so I have one over here in my computer desk. And these roses last about a week or so. I also like to add them on top of my uh, creating table, I call it, <laughs> on top of my table where I create and um, I like to put two of them in the, in the middle like flower centers. Those are some of my hair bows that I sell on my shop which is Itsy Bitsy Roses on Etsy and again those flowers are so beautiful. And then I also like to add them on my kitchen window. I love to add plants and glass in there because I get a lot of light and sunshine and I think just look adorable in there. So I have three of them in there. So as you can see, this tutorial is super simple, uh, very inexpensive, it doesn't cost very much. You can use any type of flowers, I just chose roses because I absolutely love roses, but these are great with peonies or any other type of flower that you may have even in your own garden, so that is wonderful. I absolutely love adding these into my home, I use them in my kitchen as you saw. I like to add this into my studio because I spent about... 60% of my day in this room so I want to make sure that I see something beautiful and that it goes with my studio and I thought these were so easy and so simple and super inexpensive to do so I definitely like to have this in my studio as you can probably will see in my future videos as well super inexpensive to do so I definitely like to have this in my studio as you can probably will see in my future videos as well so let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys all very soon so let me know what you guys think please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you want to see more diy hauls tutorials on a shabby chic style um, I also have mommy and baby related videos, so if you're a mommy or mommy to be, please be sure to subscribe and follow our journey. Thank you so much you guys for watching. If you have any questions as always, please let me know below. And if you like this type of tutorials and videos, please like this video and comment below to continue on with more videos.